I hope there'll be a film. I don't want to be mysterious. I mean, I completely support the idea of a film. But of course, logistically, it's quite complicated because the thing about Downton is we have a lot of running characters and we really do need them for the movie. So, you know, you can imagine at the end of the show, they all shot off into shows on Broadway, series in LA, things in the West End here, things on television. And, and they somehow have to be gradually coaxed, you know, back into the fold. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be quite a big issue. But if they can do it, I'd love it. Do, do you have a favourite character? Well, people always ask that. I mean, they're all my babies, you know. I, I love them all, really. I mean, of course Maggie's fun to write for because she's a wonderful actress and she has this extraordinary ability to be both funny and very powerful emotionally, you know, completely one scene to the next. So mm -hmm. you can never catch her out. Whatever you write for her, she can deliver. Yeah. And that is very rewarding. But really, I love them all. I think they're great. Well, I think my favourite, I have to say, is Carson. I think he's expert. <laughs> and I want to bring in the guys back in the studio because I know they're desperate to talk to you about Downton. Joe, uh, go for it. I would have said Carson. I, I, that was my first thought. Uh, but then I thought I, how much I love Thomas. And then I also thought... Uh, there were so many things were uh, came to together at the end of the of the finale that you're going to have to, you know, is Bates going to be involved in another, you know, potential uh, murder? You know, it's, so many things got settled that you'd have to start from scratch with a lot, <laughs> a, a lot of more drama, right? Well, I did try to resolve things. I mean, I do feel that writing the last episode of a series that's run for six years is not like writing an ordinary episode. With an ordinary episode, you're trying to bring in new viewers, you're trying to make people interested who weren't before, and so on and so forth. But you're not at the end. At the end, you want to please and reward the people who stayed faithful to the show for all that time. You want to make them happy. I do, anyway. Uh, and I wanted the characters to be happy. I like happy endings, you know. Mm. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm completely unashamed of settling so much. Very interested you say that Thomas was one of your favorites. That's very good news for me because I love doing this thing of making characters change, of making audiences change their minds about characters so that initially you think you don't like or in an argument you think initially oh I'm on her side and then you think oh maybe I'm on her side and and I do that completely deliberately and I wanted with Thomas to show that it was very, very difficult to be right. gay yeah, and he, he, starting he, in 1912 he, during that yeah, ten-year period. Yeah, his progression, uh, Julian, his progression from where you know he he get you know held up his hand to get out of the army to what to the person he was at the end of the series, he became a very, very positive character. Uh, I think by the very end when he was you know he got welcomed back and everybody loved him. It wasn't just me; even even people like like Carson finally I think respected. He took Carson's job, right? <laughs> Well, Carson had a slightly more right. ambivalent feeling towards Thomas, right. I think, because you can't ask too much of an old dog in the way of new tricks. But uh, I think Thomas did prove that he had an emotional centre, and certain characters like Anna and things saw it before some of the others. Right. Mrs. Right. Hughes understood that he'd gone through a very difficult period. I mean, I was interested, a lot of our younger viewers, you know, yeah. had no idea that homosexuality was still illegal. Uh, yeah. at that time right. and in fact it was illegal into my teens to you know to, to, Julian, I have to ask you very quickly do you know how you're going to vote in the in the vote tomorrow <laughs> oh i i've made it quite clear that i'm an outer i believe we have everything to gain from that but uh, I, I get so tired of show business people boring us with their political opinions mm -hmm. that i don't want to be one of them hey cnbc fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.